Hello, my name is Dieter, and in this video, I'm going to explain you how screen printing is worked. Screen printing is a process of transferring ink to a standard mesh screen in order to get a printed pattern. The technique is already about a thousand years old and originates from China. It was introduced in Europe in the 18th century, however, it only became popular in the 20th century when it was extensively used in the t shirt printing and textile industry. There are two main methods of screen printing. We have flatbed screen printing and rotary screen printing. In our lab, we only have a flatbed screen printer, which means we can only print sheet to sheet and not roll to roll. The complete process itself starts with the ink, which is in our case designed for a specific research topic and therefore it holds specific properties or functionalities. The most common functionality we use in our research environment is electrical conductivity, but some other examples of ink types are dielectric inks, dynamitting inks, and barrier inks. All of these inks have different ink properties like viscosity, particle size, solvents, surface tension, and so on. And all these parameters, they will influence required screen parameters. So before we can start printing, we have to design and order a screen which is compatible with a specific ink. The main screen parameters we can uh, tune to get this compatibility or the thread type, which can be metal or polyester. Uh, this depends on the surface tension of our ink, the viscosity of our ink and the resolution we want to get. Second one is the thread diameter. With this we can tune the thickness of our final uh, printed layer. Uh, and finally we have the amount of threads per centimeter, which controls the pore size of our screen. There is a rule of thumb which says that the pore size must be at least two and a half times bigger than the biggest particle inside your ink. So if we have a closer look to our screen, we can see the design integrated in it. Uh, and this is done with a photo emulsion technique. With this technique, a UV sensitive emulsion is spread uh, completely over a blank screen. Uh, and is cured by UV light completely, except from the design region, which is blocked off with a black mask. So, after curing, we can wash off the non cured uh, emulsion in the design region, leaving the pattern on our screen. With our screen placed in the machine, we can start to add our ink on top, and then a rubber squeegee will start to press the ink in, in and through our mesh leaving the pattern on our substrate. After that we have a metal blade which will retract the excess amount of ink back to its starting position so we can repeat the process. In this process we still have a few parameters which we can tune in order to get a better quality. These parameters are mostly the squeegee pressure which is the force the squeegee applies on our screen during the printing step. Secondly we have our printing speed and third, we have the snap-off distance, which is the distance between our screen and our substrate. So after printing, uh, we can transfer our printed pattern uh, to the curing stage, which can be an oven or a near infrared sintering system. So all in all, it's clear that screen printing is dealing with dozens of parameters influencing each other, making it very tunable, but also very challenging. Making the screen printing process compatible with a specific ink is in many cases an iterative process and takes some time. But once all parameters match, it becomes a very simple three-step printing technique which is very fast, very reproducible and especially in roll-to-roll uh, printing lines. I will bring the camera a little bit closer now so we can have a look uh, into the actual printing process. Thank you. 